Stones of Perdition is a documentary about many young teenagers who grow up in a Mormon society that have to escape from home and go find better. I saw this movie at the Little Rock Film Festival 2011. And I thought that it was, I said it was just a documentary to me. I, my mom, I saw it with my mom, and she thought that it was amazing. <laughs> that was just her, though. But um, I myself, I thought that it was just a documentary. Um, it's really amazing to see what these kids go through, you know, in their life. So um, the rating, by the way, uh, I'll give it a seventy-five, seventy-five percent. Um, it's just amazing to see what these kids go through. And just their lives and how it's just, I don't know, it's just amazing. And there are a lot of funny jokes um, <laughs> I really don't want to get into. And um, it's just, it really just, it makes me feel like who would really do that? The um, the guy who, who built this structure in the um, Mormon church there, he built it and it's like, who would do that, what he does? He... I don't want to really tell you because it can be counted as a spoiler, but um, I really just, it's just, it puzzles me how somebody could be that sick and twisted, you know. Anyway, um, I originally wasn't going to review this movie, kind of like all the movies from the film festival, but <laughs> the big reason is I got to meet the guy who made the movie afterwards. Um, we sat down, hung out for like a while. I was waiting to go see my next movie. And he told me he was actually going to do a... Um, the new one, a new documentary, but it's going to be on guys who write comic strips. So I am definitely going to be doing news on that, without a doubt. <laughs> Expect news on that. Um, that's just the comic strips and stuff. I, I love that. I'm totally into that. So news and reviews on that, totally. And um, he said he'd watch out for me on YouTube. So yeah, it's cool. Overall, this movie, um, this documentary, I thought... It was just a documentary, so it's not like it was anything, um, it was nothing that's going to surprise you, I guess, but it just, the only thing I didn't like is how long it dragged on for, but it's a documentary, so you can't really expect much, um, and it was, it was worlds better than Dragon Slayer, by the way, worlds better, <laughs> Dragon Slayer was just kind of like annoying, but this was actually, this was actually pretty good. So anyway, um, overall, 75%. Um, if you've seen this, tell me what you thought in the comments. Um, subscribe for some more news and reviews. And I guess right now that's all you need to know about Sons of Perdition.